Hello everyone, this is Stevio, and we are in Farming Simulator 22. So this is going to be a little bit of a unique video. I'm going to give you the hits and misses of this game. Trust me, this game is a game changer. There is huge improvements, and maybe they might have missed in some areas. Pay attention to the end. I have an idea for you giants to make this game explode. Also, leave a comment. I love these types of videos because you guys have the best ideas and you keep me in check. All right, let's get to it. We'll start out with the hits, then we'll go to the misses. They will be in no particular order. To not annoy you with all the numbers and everything, I'll put them all down in the description below. First thing would be seasons. Seasons in game. So if you remember 17, 19 seasons was out, but never came out right out of the get go. And I have to say, this is one of the most impressive seasons because you go by uh, days, go by months. So each day goes by, each sun up, sun down is like a month, or you could change that, whatever you want to do. The leaves turn colors, of course, that all was before, but. I have to say, the lighting is so much better in this season. Oh, man, if you want to take thumbnails, the perfect lighting is in this game. Another huge improvement would be in the AI compartment, the AI helpers. So we don't always play with multiplayer. I know I don't, at least. And sometimes you need somebody to help you out because it's a big farming world out there in Farming Simulator. Uh, now we can play even the console players can move equipment around uh bring more realistic so if you can't hook up with your buddies and all that stuff you can almost feel like they are helping you out harvest the field take the grain to the elevator whatever being huge improvement i never thought they could have something like this they proved me wrong for all them console players out there Another great thing compared to Farming Simulator 19, they made so many changes in the mod area last game that it took the modders longer to figure out all the nooks and crannies. We have gotten a ton of mods right out of the gate for this game. Uh, huge improvement. Uh, I see some little nuances with the mods, which always the modders kind of have to figure out the changes in the game. You guys want to find out great places to get mods, check out modnetwork.com or the modders Facebook sites. The best places to get these mods. The farm curation in this game. So you could build your own farmyard just like you could in FS19. The difference being is I don't have to do scrolling through all my mods for hours and hours trying to find a certain tree or a certain building. It's so much easier to find what you need, put it into place. The plant life, the shrubs, all the greenery, you can make the most beautiful landscape to be able to make a farmyard just like in your dreams or your grandpa's farm or where you grew up at brings so much reality to this game. Thank you Giants, another hit. The maps in this game, wow. I usually only play on Elms Creek, but I kind of scrubbed around a little bit on the other two maps you get. Elms Creek is a US version map. I have to say, this is the most impressive map I have ever seen Giants make. The realism, how easy it is to build your farm, the interstate running through, just would like them to work a little bit on the buildings and everything like that but other than that I'm nitpicking because this is beautiful all the creeks all the wildlife everything running through is almost perfectly placed speaking of a US map you get US equipment right out of the gate like this tractor right here this is you can design it just like that you can buy it down at the dealership in the states this is the first time out of the gate we get something like that usually they were all european style or ish at least and we had to wait for the modders to come out make us a proper u.s version tractor or planter or whatever being if you like that type of stuff if you like u.s mods like me man the modders have started shooting out some 
outstanding mods already, just like your grandpa's 4440 stuck in the barn. In Farm Simulator 19, giants came out with birds, so they would fly up in the air when you're driving by or farming in a field and something like that. Have to say, like these deer, the realism it brings to the game is huge. I can't state enough how cool it is when you're farming down the rolls of your field and you see deer run out, just like in real life. I wish they would change some of the birds around, maybe put some pheasants or something like that. That would be kind of cool. Maybe some turkeys come waddling out of your forest. I have to say this is the biggest hit of this game. I never thought this would be possible. The consoles and the PC players, they used to be two separate teams. Consoles could only play with their selves, PC players could only play with them. They kind of separated. That saying, I have not tried this because I've been separated for this whole time. I'm a PC player. I never got to play with console players because I never had owned a console. I can't wait to try this feature out. Hopefully crashes and mods ain't a huge problem. I have to say, this is one of the biggest hits Giants has done for a game. Can't wait. This will bring everyone together. It's no longer one against the other. Huge win for the console players. All right, that's all my opinion of hits. Let me know if I missed one down in the comments. Now, let's get to misses. We just talked about farm builds as a hit, farm creations, whatever you want to call it. It's, uh, it is kind of harder, especially sculpting, moving your terrain around a little bit harder, placing buildings, there's already been a ton of mods out there to kind of help us out. I wish Giants would make that a little bit more simpler. Maybe just make one or two buttons so I can easily smooth out a field or something like that after I place a building. You won't have to run back and forth to a screen. But this, I gotta say, is nitpicking because, wow, can you make a farm beautiful with the farm creation? picking again on the farm build area I wish we had more US version uh, buildings shops granaries barns it would be nice if they would just take a trip down Minnesota Iowa Nebraska and just uh, imitate some of the buildings they see down there it would be make this game that much more realistic so I know I talked this as a hit to as US version equipment right out of the gate, but I think Giants missed it a little bit. They should have made more classic harvesters, classic tractors like a 4440 or like this case harvester here right out of the gate. Not every farmer starts out with brand new equipment. Sorry, it is just an expensive world out there. I'm sure just ask Grant how much money he's shelling out for all that expensive equipment he's buying. Just make an old case tractor back when they used to be white or an old 4020, something like that. Speaking of classic, let's jump into this Minneapolis Moline. All right, so I know I already talked about this when I was talking about the hits as the map goes for this game, but I think they kind of missed, especially when you're driving down the the city of this game, it doesn't really feel like you're running down an old farm uh, town. Also, Giants, at least in the states here, I'm sure almost everywhere, every piece of rich soil farmers use to their advantage. They'll farm all the way up to the tree line. They won't lead a strip like this unless it's a waterway or something like that. Bigger fields, fields that aren't square because I haven't seen many of them out there. I think this is one of my biggest misses of this game. So I've been saying for a while now, we need more weather in this game. We need weather events. We need a hailstorm to run through and just strip your whole crop down. I know you guys are all going to say it can't happen and everything. We already thought that on the console PCs. 
it would bring more strategy to the game if you had to worry about a hailstorm or a big windstorm blows your crops down or a tornado wipes through. Sorry of all you that are affected by the recent storms. I'm praying for you. Or anything like that that just destroys your whole crops. It matters. Maybe you need to harvest your grain earlier. Maybe you need to hold off on uh, planting that field. I know some of you are screaming at your screens right now. Yes, I know seasons bring some of it. We could do better than that. Have a feature where you could turn off or on. Just think of how much it would improve this game if you were constantly had to look at the future weather just like a real farmer does to make all your big decisions so you don't lose it all. All right, another huge miss of this is the animal interaction or I should say livestock. Why can't I have something like bottle calves where I have to milk the mothers so I could bottle feed the calves and depending on their sex, male or female, I keep the females for extra milk on my dairy. The males I sell for beef at the feedlot or beef cattle. Why can't I have baby calves? Or a huge pasture where I could see my cattle walking up and down. Sorry, it's not just a little square. All our pastures in the states here are gigantic. It would I've seen some maps out there already do it, so it would it's possible. Why can't we have a pasture by our farm? Just like a lot of farmyards have to do. They can't just rely on one income. With that being said, why can't we uh, fence off one of our fields and put our the livestock right on it? All right, another huge improvement I should have said for this game and another kind of downfall. The improvement would be the player personalization. You can uh, personalize like me and get a mullet and uh, some aviator glasses. All right, the miss with that would be, so why can't we personalize a pet? We only have one dog. How many dog people are there out there, giants? How cool would it be to have our best friend riding beside us in the truck right now, just like we're driving down, hanging out the window, panting? I believe that would bring so much more realism to this game. How much cooler would it be if the dog is following you while you're driving down the your dirt road or uh, plowing up the field? I'm not a game creator, but I think it would be an easy improvement Giants could make. But what do I know? All right, you all have been waiting for this. All right, hopefully Giants steals this idea, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of you are going to say it's impossible. No way they can ever do it. Uh, there's open world games out there already, so this is not impossible. Yes, it's going to be hard, but this game would explode in popularity like no one's business. What if the role-playing community we play in with uh, Grant, Jake, Austin, Buck, Clutch. If that was just a small little portion of an Iowa map, how cool would it be if you automatically go into just like you're in Iowa, you have to, you have all these limits. You only have so much money. You got to build your farm you got to worry about the weather coming in everything the strategy would come you could become a giant farmer not just 16 or 32 member server i'm talking about giant hundreds maybe even thousands all have a little piece of the pie. They have to go to a realtor, buy the piece of land, do all that. Yes, I know, FSN kind of started this whole idea and it's probably stealing some of their ideas to be honest. But how about explode that and make it giant? Make it just, if I want to be a huge farmer in my community it's just a small little chunk uh, they could have leaderboards giants could have 
the option to pay real money for maybe a piece of land or a piece of equipment or if you want a special harvester or whatever bean to pay for the server operators out there it's just an idea but thank you all for watching this is devio and i am out don't forget to subscribe also like i said before leave a comment if i miss something expand on the open world farming simulator idea thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe